Hi, I'm Steve Cassadine. I'm going to show you the XPages Layout Framework Template. This template gives you a head start in creating your XPage applications. To get started, you do File Application New and select uh, the XPages Framework Template. Once the application is created, it will also launch in the Notes client. At first glance, there is not a lot to see. However, with a few settings and a property file, we can soon get going in creating our own XPage applications quickly. If we switch to a web browser, we can get started. Okay, we can see in the browser that the main parts of our framework are created. Uh, we, we have the, the main area for the content in the center. We have the area down the left for our menu and we have a, uh, our first tab, we have the title in place. We also have search and we have the login uh, automatically handled as well. Uh, inside the template we have an X page called demo uh, which will just show you the other components which can be added. So if I click on demo, I'll load up. Okay, and we have some buttons on here which will do some simple actions. Um, so if I click on apply uh, simple layout, you'll see it adding some other components to the screen. Okay, so the simple layout um, has just added uh, two tabs across the top. Uh, it's added some entries to the sidebar and it's added uh, a footer column at the bottom. And this was done on the fly because the, the actual settings for the One UI layout uh, is stored in a properties file. and the, the, the great thing about that is not only does it uh, help you set up the layout, but it also means you can translate this into all the different languages you require and then uh, the browser will notify X pages of the language it requires and it will be served in that language automatically. Um, if, if I click on now the apply advanced layout button, you'll see that the layout is uh, once again updated. And you see some further uh, components being added, um, as well as the main tabs. We've also got tabs across the top. Uh, we've got a button added to the, the main title bar as well, uh, and extra columns at the bottom. We've also got a reset, reset cache button, which I use when I'm doing my testing, because all the settings you see are added to uh, an application cache. So when you change them, they won't, they won't change your application immediately. Uh, this is just to make it run um, more efficiently. For those interested, um, the, the actual apply simple layout and advanced layout buttons are just simple, using some simple DXL and sending that back into the template and updating the property fly, uh, file on the fly and then just refreshing the uh, cache and then refreshing the screen again. Uh, the, the plan then is to add a, a wizard uh, onto the front of this so you can easily um, edit and configure your layouts to your heart's content. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is switch to Designer and show you how it works and how you can use it in your own applications. Uh, first of all, you'll see uh, I've opened up the, the layout.properties file, which is located in Resources Files, and this is where all the layout settings are and the, the strengths are kept. So this is where you would take this and you would uh, translate it into the different languages if required. Or you can also m uh, manually edit this uh, to create the layout uh, that you need for your application. As you see, it's quite simple. We have uh, a simple list for top tabs. Um, you specify the titles and the links. Um, they don't have to be X pages. That could be links to elsewhere if required. Uh, we have there the main tabs, we have settings for the sidebar menus, uh, we have settings for the footer columns, and we have settings for the buttons across the top. Um, there's also um, an API uh, in the template, so you can actually uh, set all these on the fly using code if you wish, uh, and I'll, I'll show that in a, in a further video. So once you have your, your layout specified, how do you use it for your own application? Um, well, it's very simple. Um, once the application is created, uh, you go to your X pages view. 
and you see in the template we already have uh, default demo and reset cache ones have, I've added already uh, these are just to demonstrate how the template works but to build your own application you just simply do new X page give it a name I'll give it um, page one and then we have our, our blank X page so to create your layout you just simply uh, go to your controls and on the control palette you'll see uh, a category called one UI templates and it gives you a choice of having a three column or two col column layout uh, so for the for this example I will add a three column layout so I'll just drag the control over to my X page what that gives you then is some extension points where you drag your main content custom control and your left and right sidebar custom controls uh, so I have some I've created earlier uh, they're just very basic ones which you can reuse because they're in your template itself so I'll drag on my left sidebar I'll then drag on my right sidebar and I'll drag uh, my content area uh, what you notice as well um, on this particular uh, custom control is, is full instructions on how to use it so it tells you where to drag the, uh, the custom controls to the extension points it also tells you which properties to change and, and what, what they do uh, so for example here if I cl click on the custom control and go to the properties you'll see it has custom properties for some additional buttons you can add uh, a main title which can override from the database title and what the current selected tab um, is when you go to this X page so this is where the tabs are handled in the specifiers you know, which tab is currently the selected tab and obviously then leaving the other tabs unselected so if we select that tabs 2 on both these tab bars are highlighted so you can see for the example it's the same with the uh, the, the me navigator menu on the left hand side that also has the same property you know which menu is going to be selected so, if, so for this example I'll select two again and I'll save this X page uh, what we would then like to do is, is navigate to it so if I go back to my layout properties uh, and say uh, if I make clicking on uh, menu uh, tab bar 2 go to this page so I'll just do page 1 here save that layout file if I now go back to my browser and if I reset the cache and I refresh the screen if I now click on the main tab 2 it should go to my new X page which it does. Uh, you'll see that the, the tab I selected is now highlighted. You see also the tab at the top and the second menu item on the, the menu on the, in the sidebar is now highlighted. And you can see that a third column is added which has these simple bookmarks which at this moment are unformatted. So as you can see it's fairly easy to uh, build your application and you just drag and drop the two column or three column layout uh, custom controls onto your X pages and you build from from there. By default, the uh, the template uses the the One UI, uh, which is used by X pages in 8.5 and 8.5.1. Uh, however, there's also a theme attached to the template, which you can switch to, which uses the new uh, One UI version 2.1, which is also shipped with the 8.5.1 server. Uh, if I switch to Designer. And go to the application properties. Go to X pages and change from the extend one UI theme to the base one UI two theme and save that. Uh, go back to my browser and refresh. And it will now use the, the one UI version two uh, style sheets. Um, you cannot see much difference other than the, the sidebar on the left hand side is slightly different. Uh, the bookmarks now have some styling on the right hand side and the button looks slightly different for the search.